Good morning, family. Okay, so first, ignore this. This is me just getting out of the shower. And um, my hair takes forever to dry. I don't have a blow dryer, so I just wrap it up in this thing. This is from Norwex, and it's the best thing ever. It just hangs out, sucks all the water out of my hair, and then I put it down and let it dry the rest of the way, and it's magical. But I wanted to update you guys, one, on the lice situation. If you didn't see, Tyler, we found lice in our hair. Oh my gosh. I never had lice as a kid. The girls have never had lice. And it's weird because it's summer break. Like they're not at school where you normally hear about it passing back and forth. Um, but Tyler is always playing with friends and at friends' houses. So I'm assuming that one friend got it and passed it to the next and the next and so forth. I'm so thankful to have an arsenal of stuff already that's safe and effective, chemical free. You know me, you guys. If you haven't been watching our vlog for very long, um, then I am, just so you know, a very natural minded person and I don't like to have toxins or chemicals in the house and I don't like to use them on the girls. So the over the counter stuff is kind of out of the question for me. Anyway, I have a whole toolbox here. We busted out our tea tree oil, our eucalyptus, our rosemary, our peppermint, our citronella, I covered their hair in it um, and then covered it in lavender mint young living shampoo and soaked it put a plastic bag on for a couple hours washed their hair combed through with the fine tooth combs washed everything in the house all the bedding we have a sanitized cycle on our washing machine which is great so I added vinegar and thieves cleaner to it washed it on really hot dried it on really hot dried all their pillows for like 45 minutes so I'm thinking that we're good I've checked yesterday didn't see anything at all um, and washed their hair again. I've been keeping it up and keeping it coated in oils every single day So that is how we have tackled lice naturally. I'll keep you guys updated, but it looks like we did it Okay, so if you guys um, remember a few vlogs ago, I was in Utah I spent about a week in Salt Lake City, Utah um, For Young Living's convention and it was so fun probably one of my favorite things that I've ever done. Um, but I finally just got my box of goodies and I've been waiting and waiting for this. This is what I've been like waiting on my makeup for. It came in late last night and I didn't open everything yet. And so I was like, oh, this morning I'm gonna take a shower and put on my new makeup. So here's the thing, if you don't know already, there are a lot of toxic ingredients in makeup and our skincare products and our shampoos and all kinds of stuff. I'm super passionate, if you guys are new to the vlog, um, I'm really passionate about non-toxic living, trying to eliminate harsh chemicals and things that cause cancer and cause hormone disruption and all kinds of issues um, from our life, from myself and from you know, John and the kids. I want our girls to grow up and I don't want them to struggle with things like infertility. I don't want them to struggle with things like you know crazy mood swings or hormonal issues and just all these problems that are so prevalent today and a lot of it comes from the products that we use and people don't realize a lot of it comes from the food and the pesticides on it and just using things that are toxic to our bodies and slowly over time so your skin is an organ it's the largest organ in your body everything that goes on it goes into your body i think it's like the average woman puts on over 300 chemicals a day isn't that crazy? And then they did a study somewhere I read where they looked at like a newborn's umbilical cord and they found over 200 chemicals in the cord of a newborn baby. And that's because when you're pregnant, everything you put on your body and goes into your bloodstream also goes to your baby. So it's so important to look at ingredients. You guys can go to the EWG website or download the app called Think Dirty and you can scan the stuff in your house. Scan your cleaners, scan your soaps and shampoos and your makeup and everything and it'll give you like a grading scale on how toxic those things might be and then kind of why, whether it's reproductive toxicity um, or carcinogenic effects, which means cancer causing. It's really crazy. Even things that are marketed as natural um, a lot of times are not so it's good to look at ingredients So that's what I love about young living is that they're really cautious and conscious about every single thing They use their makeup line savvy minerals is new as of last year completely toxin free um, And it's the best <laughs> it's like legit the best makeup I've ever used their mineral veil is what I always wear and everyone I mean Random people were like, you're like glowing. I love that. What kind of highlighter do you use? So I always get compliments on it. But they just came out with a bunch of new stuff. And that's what I was going to show you guys. They just came out with these really pretty pressed eyeshadows. You can see the colors are so pretty. 
and if you use the misting spray you can foil them so they go on darker i tried a few um, at the expo and they were ah, like i'm in love so i'm gonna do my makeup um and then show you guys the after there's the before minus the lipstick okay family i am done 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 i put on the lipstick um, I actually just recorded a makeup tutorial for my oily group, so that was part of me doing my makeup, but I did the full face. It's a little bit more makeup than I'd probably wear on a normal day. Not the eyes, I like the eyes, um, but the lipstick is probably a little more nightlife or like going out or having fancier clothes on than leggings in this shirt um, and wet hair especially, but I get a lot of comments on your glow, your skin, it looks so amazing, everything. You guys, I'm telling you, it's the veil. It's the Savvy Minerals Diamond Dust Veil. I use this and I actually use my blush brush and put it on as a highlighter. And so all those glowy pretty spots are actually, it's my makeup, it's not the pregnancy. I'm not an angel, it's just the makeup. It's really good makeup and like I said, there's nothing toxic in it. There's nothing that's gonna disrupt my hormones. Um, there's nothing that's gonna affect my reproductive system or make me moody or make me break out. It's actually really good for your skin kind of makeup. And um, yeah, there's nothing in it that I have to worry about causing cancer. If my kids get into it, which Adeline does a lot, she really is obsessed with it. I don't have to worry about them having yucky stuff on them. So um, if you're interested in the makeup you can get a savvy mineral starter kit through young living if you're like oh, i'm not sure about the oils but i really want some of that makeup you can get an account and start with the savvy starter kit and order the makeup so i'd be happy to walk you guys through that but i just made a big mess look at this i opened i opened all my new savvy stuff and i have all my other savvy stuff and then all my oils and i still have this whole box of goodies that i'm freaking dying to go through these i gotta give tyler and elena one Mighty Pro, it's a kid's probiotic. Um, it has prebiotic and a probiotic in it. So prebiotic feeds the probiotic and helps them like multiply faster. And we've been, it's probably been a week that the girls have had these. They just get one a day, they're single serving packets. They love them. It tastes just like a cherry pixie stick. So the girls are obsessed. I'm like, I have to hide them and tell them one a day, but I just got another pack but they've been using it for like a week. And Jude has been struggling with yeast lately. It's gone. I'm not even kidding, it's freaking gone. I knew as soon as they came out with these, I'm like, yes, that's gonna be a game changer for our girls. They've always, Tyler and Jude especially, have always struggled with yeast. So I cannot wait to see just what it does long-term for them. But probiotics are really important. Your whole immune system stems from your gut and gut health and probiotics are the first defense. So I'm glad for those, I gotta go give Tyler and Elena won with their lunch because they didn't have one this morning. So we'll go check on them. So we're gonna head to the store. Our neighbor is watching some of the girls for us. Their daughter is gonna watch Adeline and Tyler and Elena play with their other daughter. There's stuff all over my house. Okay, Whew. but look, aside from all the clean dishes that need to be put away, um, this is the cleanest it's been for a while and it feels really good. We ordered new kitchen chairs too because we don't have enough. They're all broken and I didn't feel like scrubbing the heck out of them. So we will be replacing our kitchen chairs, uh, which I'm really excited about. And they should be here on Wednesday. And then, yep. All right, headed out now. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, we've got Jude and Everly. And our first stop is Target. And it's a Sunday, so things are kind of busy, but. It's too tight to even on Oh, you can't unbuckle it? You need help? <coughs> John's getting the stroller out. We're sitting in the air condition until the stroller is put together. <laughs> nah, it's watering because I just coughed. Choked on something. Oh, love girl. Just throwing fries all over the ground. Say, I'm throwing fries. I'm pretending to eat them. Show everybody how you eat the fries. Oh, yeah, you put it on your head? Show them how you eat them. How do you eat the fries? Okay, num, 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 num. No, you gotta eat one here. Pretend like you got one. Here. Watch this. Watch how she eats them. No, 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 no. <laughs> she no, no. no she's, well, this one she might be. I don't know. She You're making her you're laughing so much I have to come look. Is it good? Well, the other ones she just puts it in her mouth and goes, no, 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 and like noms on it and then pulls it out. And I'm like, that doesn't trick me. Let's see. 
See, she hasn't even chewed that one up. See, she just <laughs> she just pulled it out there. Oh, Jesus was served with these bowls over here. Wow, what is That's Jesus' salad bowl right there. I like that. What are they made out of, John? What are they made out of, John? I don't know. This is cool. That is cool. What's that one made Look it up. Are they BPA free? BPA this one says BPA free. free. But I don't know if they're the other ones. Oh, we need some BJ Maskin how about we have these two cups? Let's because look for a big, like a different kind. One that doesn't have a straw, because I ain't cleaning those. How about we have I said this eight one. because I'm this from North Carolina. Like I'm not even from North Carolina. No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't allowed to say ain't. I like no, the, I okay, you guys, so. these cups, because there's no straw, sucky, sippy, nothing to wash or grow mold. It's just easy. Yeah, those are clean. much easier. You can fill them up with a ton of water. What are you doing? I'm shaking the maracas. No. Wait, You're shaking time. maracas? Yeah, make one more time. Nice. Good job. Come on, let's go. Who's the best, Judy? Both of you. Oh, I thought I was the best. Both of you are Daddy and Mommy. Yeah. Why are we the best? Because you get us. Um, the kind of food they want. <laughs> Boy, now you get to Eddie. You're what? I said that to Emko. What'd you say to her? I'm, I'm, I'm going to run around until you get dizzy. She's going to run around until you get dizzy, oh, yeah, girl. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What are you getting out of there? Judy, the police are going to think you for that. The cops are gonna get you if you touch that stuff. Those, those drinks are. <laughs> she would open up the beer fridge and go in there. I don't know. I didn't even see anything that I thought she would like in there. I didn't see anything in that one particular that I liked. So our plan was to go to Aldi, but it's now almost six o'clock. Just because the day got away from us, had to finish the kitchen and stuff, and that took a little longer than we hoped. And then we needed someone to watch the other kids, we went out, so um, sadly we're not able to get all the other stuff we wanted we even to get. Before show you what we got, before anybody comments about it being packaged or processed, we're doing the best we can right now until we get our bearings straight. We have zero food in the house and kids have to eat three times a day. So we will get there with the whole foods and the whole foods and the cooking things and all that, but we're going through a ton of changes and I don't have time to make meals from okay, scratch just, every day. Yep. To meal plan and cook and prep. And we're shopping at Target. <laughs> like the most expensive Look, place to get groceries. Other, like, I know, I'm, I'm explaining that. We are only here because we were gonna get other things like, that we yeah. needed like, what? Like, things for the kitchen. Yeah, we were getting other things for the kitchen. Um, to a place that Walmart didn't have when we went there and now we're here it's like okay well we don't have time to go anywhere else so get groceries here we won't get a full shopping trip here but we'll get like enough to get us through a couple days here so that is even more expensive here Just the Judy's pointing people in the right direction are you pointing people in the right direction all right <laughs> Or maybe she's detouring people. This aisle's closed. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Mommy's shopping on you. When are we done shopping? Hours. It's taking for hours, Mom. Oh my goodness! Come on, bud. Oh man! Come on. All right, we're done here. That was pretty painless. Not having all the kids makes things so easy. It was a little pricey, but I mean, we got a lot of stuff, I think, so. It's like the past few days. Um, we did give the other girls some gluten today, but with Elena, we're being very careful. <clears throat> it was hard. Like, for there were several people who were like, why don't you just have Elena go gluten-free and the rest of the house not? A, pretty sure at least Addie and Everly may also have celiac. Two, celiac disease. Two, um, just today making sandwiches, 
I want, because the other girls are supposed to get their blood drawn, um, I want to make sure that they're still getting some gluten. So I made Elena's first, and I made her peanut butter and jelly in this like clean workspace, and then I had gotten the other girls out, so I gave it to Elena, let her eat, got the other girls bread out, but washed my hands, touched the knife, drizzled the peanut butter on each slice so the knife didn't touch their bread, because then it's going back in the peanut butter, you know? Um, and then the same thing with the jelly, just like <laughs> dripped it on, um, closed up the jars once they were all on it, put those away, spread everything out, put their sandwiches together, gave it, and then I'm like wiping everything down, wiping everyone's hands, scrubbing this over. I can't do that, mm -mm, not long term, nope, 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 nope. Especially because Elena was like going up and playing with Ev and I'm like, Elena stop. Anyway, it's a lot. So that's just something that would be very difficult at their young ages where they don't fully understand. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be easier just to go all gluten free. Honestly, John has issues with food, like for sure. I. Would not surprise me in the least bit if he has celiac disease also. Um, like he's had issues with his joints and a lot of joint pain and arthritis pain um, even for years now. And then, you know, he just has like stomach issues and certain things, lactose intolerance, like um, different things that are symptoms of it. So look at this baby, she's so funny. Where are you going? John hung up the wet clothes to dry last night, but he was watching TV, so that's why they're all down here. Say hi! Oh, you are! You're saying hi, everyone! How cute is this babe? How cute are you? Ah. Also, I realized I missed my prenatal appointment. I thought it was the same day as this my anatomy scan, um, and I was looking to see what time it was, and it turns out that it was like, the 21st of June, right when I got back from Utah. So I missed that. Whoops. <laughs> Our anatomy scan is this week. I don't know if we're gonna find out or not, okay? So hold on, because I'm not sure. I know you're all gonna ask. I don't know. If we find out, we probably won't tell you. Um, at least not yet. <sighs> I don't know. I kinda wanna wait to the surprise at the end. It's the best. But then part of me is like, I kind of want to like be able to see it on the screen because I also think, okay, other than waiting until birth, I think if we got it written on a piece of paper or anything like that, like I would not believe it unless I saw it with my own eyes. You know what I mean? Like if it was a boy, I would not, I would not believe it. Even if it was a girl, I probably wouldn't believe it. Like, so part of me is like, either I need to look and see for myself or wait until the birth. Which isn't that far, you guys, 21 weeks away. I'm 19 weeks now, it's crazy. So we're almost there, about halfway through this pregnancy with this babe in this shirt. My bump really shows, so cute. All right, I'm gonna see, I think John got lost in the neighbor's house going to get the kids, so. <gasps> Do you wanna eat? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? You wanna go eat? Yeah, she does. Look at her. You wanna go to your high chair? Mm -hmm. She's going. She understands so much. It's really sweet to see her starting to like learn. I'm coming. Let me see what you got. What is it? Are you excited about that? What do they what are, what do they have or what do they not have? Yeah. It's gluten free. Awesome. Yeah. Can I have this for tomorrow's dinner? Tomorrow's dinner? What's this? You got to ask mommy about that. All right, everybody's in bed. I mean, they should be. It's 10 o'clock. They're not all in bed. Elena's in bed. She's just not sleeping. Elena's not sleeping, and it's 10 o'clock. And I am going to not be a happy camper tomorrow if anybody wakes that girl up, which is usually 10. Yeah, because she's actually like one of the ones that will sleep in if all right guys well we love ya we'll see you later have a good night or a good day or a good day <laughs> all right peace out man